We start tonight with an event to celebrate World Refugee Day. The city of Dayton, along with Welcome Dayton and community partners, hosted the event to showcase how welcoming the city is. Two News reporter Seth Bird joins us in the studio with more on what this event means to a refugee who now calls Dayton home. Seth. The city of Dayton was the first city in the country to become a certified welcoming city, welcoming thousands of refugees and immigrants over the years, including Sozan and Nawari and her family who left their home in Afghanistan for more freedom and opportunity here. In our country, the girls doesn't have any freedom. They cannot go outside without any man or husband, brother. But in here, I can do whatever that I want. The 21-year-old is still not sure what she wants to pursue, but Susan Nawari says she has enjoyed her new life in America and the opportunities that come with it. In Afghanistan, we have so many dreams to do it, but we cannot do it. But in here, like, I can do it. And the community, the opportunity that they gave us, we can do it. So I'm so happy that I'm here and I enjoy my life. Once refugees are placed in a city, they're given six months of help with the transition. Despite those challenges, Dayton has become a place for refugees to thrive in, and events put on by Welcome Dayton help. Through Welcome Dayton, Nawari was able to enroll in St. Clair Community College and adjust to life in the Maya Valley. Now she helps other refugees get comfortable in the city of Dayton and hopes they'll enjoy it as much as she does. When I came in here, I feel that anything that I can, I want, I will do it. Like in here, I can follow my dreams. I can like do my uh, things that I want. Welcome Dayton will be holding other events throughout the year to help refugees feel more at home. In studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.